Hello Immortals, my name is Volker and I'm the producer for Skyforge here in the West. I'm here today to talk to you about some of the changes that we'll be bringing to the PvP in Skyforge. With this update, we'll be introducing three major innovations to the PvP experience in Skyforge. All of these are geared towards making the PvP more accessible, more balanced and fair, and more rewarding for all the players. I've invited Dimitri, our game director, to talk a little bit about the exact changes that we'll be making it into the game. Hello, my name is Dimitri and I'm the game director for Skyforge. We've been working hard on a number of changes in PvP throughout the last few months. These changes are designed to make the PvP modes more exciting, fascinating and fun. Today I'd like to tell you about some of them. First of all, we're attuning the scaling of Battle of Golems, Battle of Equals and Massive Battles. We'll also be introducing a new PvP statistic. In the current PvP system, players can essentially choose from two different game modes. The Battles of Equals is a fully scaled game mode where the progress in the rest of the game doesn't really matter, while the Massive Battles takes mainly from the power that you've acquired in the rest of the game. So the outcome is dictated less by skill, but more the time that you've invested into the game. With the update, we will adjust the scaling on both game modes to give a realistic chance of victory to all the players. Doesn't matter how much time you've spent grinding up your PvE equipment. But at the same time, we want to recognize the effort and the time that you have spent in playing the game. At the beginning of any PvP battle, your basic weapon and gear stats will be adjusted to comply with the current season. Special effects of weapons, artifacts and symbols will still work in PvP unlike bonuses granted by the Cathedral and the Tower of Knowledge. New beginner players will be able to participate in Battle of Equals and Massive Battles as equals. Developed characters will score certain advantages. Besides scaling, we are introducing a new stat which can be boosted by PvP activities. This stat is meant to increase the power of your character in PvP. It will show your progression in PvP battles regardless of your PvE achievements. In addition to all these changes, we'll also be making some adjustments to the way that players can use battle mounts and the greater god forms in PvP. Starting with this update, players will no longer be able to use either the greater god form or the battle mounts in the Battle of Equals or Massive Battles game mode. We hope that this will really further solidify our approach to providing a fair and balanced way for players to measure their skill in PvP. Now with a more balanced and fair system in place, we want to provide more reasons for players to go out there and test their skill and wits in battle. To this end, we're going to be introducing a ladder system that allows you to fight your way to the top against all other players. If you know the old system that we've implemented on the portal, this is a much improved version of that basic idea that's going to be fully accessible through the game client. The PvP ladder will also support seasons that line up with the existing invasion cycle, so you will have at least eight weeks to prove your skill in battle. At the same time, we'll provide more chances for players to get on board, make a name for themselves and claim one of the great prizes. Your reward will be based on your league at the end of the season. You can obtain in-game valuables, equipment and even temporary legendary weapons. Plus, every battle will reward you with something related to the new stat and will help you boost your character. We expect that the new ladder system, as well as the new and recurring rewards, will provide a much more natural reason for players to go out into the battlefield. This also means that we can finally remove the PvP directives from the game. Last but not least, we are introducing the happy hours. It's the period of time when PvP rewards are significantly bigger. What does this mean? It means less time in queues, more battles and better rewards. With these significant improvements and additions, we hope that players will be able to rediscover the thrill that is PvP in Skyforge. The improved scaling and the removal of power items will make battles fairer and more balanced. The happy hours and the new PvP stat will make all the game modes more accessible for all players. And the addition of the ladder system and the prizes from it will make sure that players are properly rewarded for their successes in PvP. 
We carefully collect and study your feedback ideas associated with PvP. This update will become the starting point of PvP development in Skyforge. We're also planning to rebalance the classes. We want our players to be able to select a class of their own personal preference and style of play and enjoy it in PvP battles. One of the reasons that we're focusing so much on PvP is that, in parallel, we've already been working on a completely new PvP game mode that we want to bring to Skyforge already this summer. At this moment, we're not quite ready to release it, but we hope that we can share some more information on it very soon. So stay tuned, make sure you hop onto Discord, Facebook and Twitter and share your thoughts, your feedback and your ideas about the changes that we've introduced to you today. Thank you for your kind attention. We hope you'll like the upcoming update. See you in the arenas.